Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Ethel the Penguin by Ursula Dubasarsky and Christopher Nielsen. This is a children's picture book that was sent to me for a review by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them. I'm going to start off by reading you the blurb. Ethel the Penguin's in my class, though she doesn't sit next to me. Miss Ink likes Ethel to sit by herself. She can sit, be a bit lawless, you see. Everyone needs a best friend like Ethel. She's not afraid of teachers, she's not afraid of heights. In fact, she's totally wild. So this book is a very joyful, happy, bright exploration of those kids who just are unafraid of life and get up to all sorts of mischief, causing their parents stress because they are out there exploring everything. Our narrator is telling the story. She is Ethel's friend and it's very much about her telling the story of having that one wild friend, that friend who is unafraid of anything. And it's pretty common. You might have someone who's a little bit more straightforward and a bit more of a rule follower and someone who is ready to just take risks and to make life fun. And that's really what happens here. It's also a really good opportunity to have conversations about, okay, well, which risks and which fun things are things that it's okay to try without help and support from adults and which ones might cause a bit of chaos, like the fact that Ethel decides to hijack herself onto a Ferris wheel and despite her parents freaking out that she's up there. And it's also about, you know, making mistakes and it's okay because people will love and forgive you, but you know, maybe lessons aren't always fully learned at that exact time. Maybe things have to happen a few times before they sink in. But overall, it's just a really gorgeous book. It's a rhyming text, so it's really great for listening for patterns in words. All the illustrations are really bright, very colorful. There's a lot of emotions in the illustrations as well, which is really nice. So I will leave links down below to where you can find out more information about Ethel the Penguin, as well as the author and the illustrator. Thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review copy. In the comments I would love to know have you read this or have you read any of Ursula Dubasarsky's other books? I find her to be a really interesting author. She's very very good with her with language and word choice. And if you just want to let me know that you're here but don't leave a comment feel free to leave a penguin emoji down below. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.